The flip side of quiet quitting is quiet paying. Don't forget this. Somebody older I know asked me why young people are quiet quitting their jobs and not trying to work hard. I told them that quiet quitting is a bullshit term that describes doing what was outlined in your contract, and not more. He started to tell me how you need to hustle and do more than the minimum if you want to succeed. I told him that the difference compared to many years ago is that now hard work is not met with commensurate rewards or opportunities. Then I asked him the following question. If it is culturally acceptable to push people to go above and beyond what is outlined in their contract, why does the company always only pays what was agreed upon? Why doesn't payroll ever go above and beyond what was agreed? Shouldn't it also be culturally acceptable to expect extra salary in this case? Aren't my company quiet paying me? He had nothing to say and just looked uncomfortable. He didn't really agree but he has no good answer either. Not only does pay not increase, you are actually getting a pay cut if your wage is not adjusted for inflation. Which it usually isn't. So they are not even quiet paying, they are giving workers quiet pay cuts. And they've been doing it for over 40 years, which is why people are no longer able to support a home or family on an average job. The rewards for going above and beyond have evaporated, along with the ridiculous expectations that have steadily increased. What was exceptional effort 40 years ago have been skewed into being the normal expectations, which is fucked up. Especially since wages have stagnated and not kept pace with the production output. In the UK we never had quite quitting and we already had working to rule whereas no extras, not one second or not one extra duty was performed. This has crippled companies, especially those who rely on staff to preform regular overtime including paid. Let's face it, it's not quitting if you do exactly what is written in your contract. My half percent pay raise during 8 inflation quiet underpaying me by 7.5. The harder I work and the more miracles I pull off at work, the more upper management assumes I'm too useful to be paid well. They hire externally to fill vacant positions further up. Why hustle? The problem with quiet paying is the concept you can underpay your people and expect top pay performance. The term is new, the concept is not. You want top performance compensate your employees for it. It was at this moment this guy knew. He f-ed up. Wow, that's a good way to put that. Never occurred to me to outline the situation in those terms. I had a boss who was a quiet pair. I delivered a project ahead of schedule with big results for our division. Two weeks later, my paycheck was 3x the normal amount. All be said during our 1-1 was this is what we do. Man he was awesome. It used to make sense to overachieve. You could actually climb in a company and or get raises that were commensurate with your effort. Now, it's a max 2 increase per year that doesn't even cover inflation. We're pretty much busting our asses to get less of a pay cut. I'm salaried. I worked overtime last month and usually I receive a performance bonus for it, but this time I didn't. Guess who's not going to work overtime again? The company is trying to cut expenses so performance bonuses have been suspended and pay raises have been pushed back for a month. There's no such thing as quiet quitting. Yes the employer always wants as much extra as they can get and offers nothing extra in return. I want the term quiet paying to become a thing where's the press? I mean that's what rich people do, CEOs etc. They get a bonus if they work really hard and the company does well. But god forbid a minimum wage worker asks for a raise. I won't say that I am quite quitting but I am giving inflation adjusted effort. LOL me doing the minimum is still working harder than most boomers ever had to and I get less for it. Fuck em. They pay the bare minimum so I do the bare minimum. If they want me to do more or work harder, then we can pay me more. I've been in places where I sit next to a delusional boomer, or someone right out of school busts their ass all year and management can see big improvements in their performance. But the answer is always we don't have the money to permit salary increases even though the company turned over a few billion in profit. I remember in 2008 nurses in Dublin had a strike. 
they did the whole work to rule thing. They went to work. Did their jobs. But didn't do any extras. Didn't do reception. Didn't do client liaison duties. They were successful. They had their demands met within a few weeks. It's a problem of motivation, all right? Now if I work my ass off and Inatech ships a few extra units, I don't see another dime, so where's the motivation? And here's another thing, I have eight different bosses right now. Office space. Oh boy, you've put him on a depression state of awareness of how fun he was his whole life. Older guy here. They like to talk about fair market value. But they don't want to pay it. You get what you pay this not true. What you pay for. And not a goddamn thing more. What the fuck is that? That's a $17 hour weld bead. You want to get the $50 bead? Pay for it. You don't get the $50 one for $17. Cheap, good and fast. Nope. Cheap will not be good or fast. Good will not be cheap or fast. Fast, may be cheap, but it will not be good. He had nothing to say and just looked uncomfortable. He didn't really agree but he has no good answer either. Because humans aren't fans of admitting they were wrong or have been duped, gotten over on, etc. This provide free labor, without extra pay, so you might, just might, get promoted at some future date and time is so much a raw, one-sided, deal. The youth of our society has called BS and are refusing to participate in this lopsided deal. Good on them. There was a startup company in the US that paid their employees in Bitcoin, when Bitcoin was low. Then Bitcoin went high, and the company asked their employees to give back their Bitcoins. I think it went before some attorneys, and it was deemed that no employee had to get back their Bitcoin. Because the company wouldn't agree to those terms. Heck, they are the ones that suggested hit. Even if you believe in hustling, you should be smart about it. Any competent hustler knows what their boss cares about and focuses on those metrics. You ain't hustling if you're working hard at the parts of your job your boss doesn't care about. Just working hard for the sake of work is the antithesis to hustling. I do not accept more from my workplace than me doing my job and they paying what was agreed upon. That's it. After 8 hours plus lunchtime I turn my PC off and don't think about my work again until 8.59. This is the exact same thing as the old time term work to rule it's a union term. That is a good point. Back in the old realm the extra hustle got the promotions, mentorship, bonus and raises. Then the MBAs realized they could drop the payment side and still get the same results. Now that the employees have wizened up, they want to give employees the scarlet letter. While the employers are the ones that did it to begin with. It's really hard for them to come to terms with the fact they've been licking boot for their entire adult lives and now their children, and grandchildren are worse off for it. Oh that's good. When people say quiet quitting, I like to correct them to meeting expectations and performing at 100 efficiency because that's what it is. Any more would be exceeding expectations and thus deserves to be incentivized. He started to tell me how you need to hustle and do more than the minimum if you want to succeed. Nah, just hop for another raise every two years. Because he's been propagandized his entire life to only view things through the lens of an owner who has no other option than to pursue profit at all costs. The second you acknowledge that actually, no, owners aren't required to do this. Or when you point out workers who do this are viewed as greedy or lazy, they get cognitive dissonance and need time to process. When people abide by the rules and culture that the owner has, the owning class loses their mind over it. I'll add on to this conversation. Part of the above and beyond payroll can do is provide bonuses for employees that go above and beyond. I do payroll for a company and I've only been asked to give two bonuses outside of the regularly scheduled annual bonus. So that incentive structure just isn't there for people to work extra hard, because it is so rare to get compensated extra for that extra work. Quiet quitting is nothing new and was known as work to rule in the 1950s and 1960s industrial relations. Capitalists will never pay you the full value of your work as to do so would violate the entire point of the market. 
to exploit workers' labor for the owner's profits.